$301 raise per month for SSI, Supplemental Security Income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I want to discuss a plan that Congress currently has in play to raise benefits for SSI beneficiaries by $301 every single month for about 8 million beneficiaries that receive these ongoing monthly benefits. I have all the details and exactly what they're thinking right here in the video, so let's Let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side each and every day, watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on. And most importantly, how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account. And of course, anything showing up right now, you can possibly grab and or take advantage of as a low income or fixed income beneficiary. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And also remember, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. That's my dedication and my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about a potential $301 raise for about 8 million SSI beneficiaries, what this all means and the plan that Congress is working on and that they're discussing. All right, so... This is some very important detail because this would mean a lot more money for a lot of beneficiaries. Now, as of right now, there's just under 8 million SSI beneficiaries across the entire United States, and there's a lot of people joining this program every single month and, of course, every single year. As a result of this, SSI benefits are incredibly important because, let me ask you, as an SSI beneficiary, do you rely on your monthly benefit? Well, obviously you do. This is not a trick question, but obviously, yes, you do. And the vast majority of beneficiaries have SSI benefits as their only source of income. Therefore, it's very, very important, right? Well, let me talk you through some details of what Congress has in play and the details behind how this would translate into a $301 raise every single month, not across the entire year, but every single month as, what, uh, as far as what this would come down to. All right, so there's a few different moving parts here that I want to discuss because there's a different, uh, you know, different pieces of the puzzle here. So kind of let me lay this picture out for you. Basically, what it comes down to is a piece of legislation in Congress as well as the federal poverty line in 2023. Let me talk you through the details really quickly. So as of right now, in 2023, the federal poverty line is $14,580, which increased $990 over last year, which was $13,590. So a $990 dollar increase. However, there's a piece of legislation in Congress called the SSI Restoration Act. We've gotten a few updates on it. There's a little bit of information floating around about it. Congress talks about it every so often, but basically within this, there's a few different provisions. Number one, they want to raise benefits up to the federal poverty line. Number two, they want to increase the asset levels from $2,000 as an individual up to $10,000 and from $3,000 as a married couple up to $20,000. And number three, again, another major provision in there would be to remove the marriage penalty. Now, obviously there is more in this, but these are the three major provisions within the SSI Restoration Act. However, I only want to focus on the first one in this uh, video just because it's such a big piece of it, which would be raising those benefits up to the federal poverty line. Well, let me show you the math behind this because this is a huge deal. Remember, the federal poverty line this year is $14,580. If we divide that out on a monthly basis, it comes out to $1,215 every single month. Well, now let's calculate the difference between the federal poverty line this year as an individual of the 12, uh, sorry, $1,215 per month and the difference of the $914 maximum SSI benefit. This comes out to a difference of $301 every single month. So if you're somebody right now receiving the SSI maximum benefit of $914 this year in 2023, this would result in a $301 difference. That's a huge difference. That's like a 33% different. Well, it's just under 33%. That's like a 30% uh, 30 difference roughly in uh, benefits. So a huge, huge difference, right? That is a huge difference in 
um, where your benefits currently are, the maximum benefit up to what it would really need to be, right? So that is a huge, huge amount that benefits would need to be increased to actually bring them up to the federal poverty line. Well, as a result of this, this is one of the provisions within the SSI Restoration Act. So simply by having Congress do this, whether they come forward and they actually do increase benefits or they remove the marriage penalty or they uh, increase the asset levels, simply if they just came forward and passed the SSI Restoration Act or if they went through this piece of legislation and if they actually just cherry picked out some of the most piece, uh, the most important piece of legislation out of it, including raising benefits, this would change the lives of people in a huge, huge way. So that's what I wanted to bring to your attention because this is a difference of $301. Now remember, last year in 2022, the federal poverty line sitting at $13,590 or $1,132 per month. And last year, again, the maximum benefit for SSI beneficiaries was $841, okay? Now the spread there wasn't quite as big. It wasn't quite the $300. However, as we continue to move forward into the future and as we continue to see the cost of living continues to in increase each and every year. And as the federal poverty line continues to increase, it just simply means that SSI benefits yet again are not keeping up, right? You can clearly see here, they're behind the curve by over $300 every single month, which by the way, that's about $3,600 every single year is how much SSI benefits are behind what they really should be. Remember this much as well. I want to throw this out there just as a quick little piece of information we should probably all remember. Way back in the early 70s, 1972 is when SSI was started. So about 51 years ago is when SSI started. What did this program start as? Did they start it to make sure that people always stay in poverty? No, they started it as an anti-poverty program. However, guess what it is today? It's a poverty program because here's the thing. As an SSI beneficiary, can you have any income? Well, to be fair, you can have a little bit of income. It's very, very small. So basically they say, you know, you can have SSI benefits, but if you have any income, we're taking your benefit, right? So it basically forces people to live in poverty and therefore, as a result of the federal poverty line, like what we're talking about here in this video, it's below the federal poverty line, but like I said, $301 every single month. So because this program has not kept up with the current times over the last 51 years, um, this has gone from a anti-poverty program as far as what it started at 51 years ago to literally a poverty program now, right? As in, it literally forces people to live in poverty. I don't know, something super messed up about it. And again, it has fallen way behind the time simply because it did not keep up with the annual raises and the actual cost of living every single year over the last 51 years. It's fallen behind by over $300 a month. So there you go. This is a perfect example of what we can see by them not keeping up with the program and not adjusting benefits accurately to the real cost of living. Just like we've talked about before in other videos with the COLA raise every single year. If that were to actually keep up with the real cost of living every single year, we would not be having this conversation right now because benefits would be at the federal poverty line or above, but they're not. So that's why we're having this conversation is because it hasn't kept up. The program has failed. It has failed itself. And honestly, it has failed all the beneficiaries. This is not a good situation, right? So because of all the, uh, well, with all the 8 million beneficiaries or thereabout beneficiaries, these individuals are unfortunately falling way behind every single month because these benefits are way behind. I mean, clearly, I'm, how many times do I need to explain it, right? I've said it so many times here in this video, but this is the situation and this is what we're dealing with right now. So as you can clearly see here, Congress definitely has some very important action that they need to take on their you know, on their, um, you know, on their hand right now, this is something that they got to handle, but this would be one easy solution that they could do to lift everybody up to the federal poverty line. And then again, they could always come back at some other point and raise asset levels and things like that. But if somebody's getting $914 a month, you know, I don't really know how many beneficiaries really need to worry about the 200, uh, sorry, the $2,000 asset levels for an individual or the $3,000 for a married couple. If you're living on 914 a month, um, you're not gonna be able to save much money, right? Maybe a couple dollars here and there if you're lucky, but considering the cost of living and everything right now, that's gonna be pretty hard to do, right? So anyway, wanted to bring this to your attention. This is something that they have out there. This is something they could easily do. 
But will they? Well, that's a good question. Either way, I will continue watching this one very closely as I do get more details on anything going on right now, including money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, or anything else like that coming out of Congress or the administration. Of course, I'll bring it to your attention right away. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, so other people can also see what is really going on here and the major pitfalls of this program and why it needs to be raised up. And honestly, it just needs to be fixed. The program has fallen so far behind over the last 51 years. It needs a major overhaul, a major fix. And like I've said before in other videos, anything that goes on for 50 years, like a car or a house or anything, you know, after 50 years, do you think it needs a little bit of fixing? Yeah, of course. Everything does, right? A car, it needs a, it needs a tune up. Uh, a house. Does it need a new roof? Maybe new siding? Maybe some new windows? Probably, right? Yeah, it's just some ma uh, some major maintenance that needs to be done. And unfortunately, this program has not gotten the regular maintenance that it needs. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Otherwise, I'm going to continue on with this forever and ever, continue talking about this because this is such a big issue. Either way, I'll keep you posted as I do get more information. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Share the video. Go back and check out any of the other videos here on the channel. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.